Prince Harry shared a poignant memory from his past, recalling the moment King Charles broke the devastating news that his mother, Princess Diana, had been involved in a fatal car crash in Paris. This tragic event marked a turning point in Harry's life, forever altering the course of his and his brother William's childhood. The crash not only claimed the life of Diana but also took the lives of Dodie Alfade and their driver, Henry Paul. On the fateful day of August 31, 1997, a young Prince Harry, along with his older brother William, who was just 15 at the time, learned of the tragic accident that had befallen their beloved mother. The news was a crushing blow, leaving the brothers to grapple with the sudden and heartbreaking loss. The world mourned alongside them, but the pain for the young princes was deeply personal and overwhelming. In his memoir, Spare, the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, vividly recounts the moment his father, Charles, sat on the edge of his bed to deliver the news. He described his father's words as sticking with him like bullets in a dartboard. This raw and emotional revelation paints a picture of a young boy struggling to comprehend the gravity of his loss, with his father's unusual demeanor adding to the surreal nature of the moment. Harry recalls the peculiar way his father looked at him, a look he had never seen before. Initially, young Harry clung to hope, believing that his mother could still be saved. He thought she had been taken to the hospital and that the doctors would fix her head, allowing them to see her soon. This hopeful denial was quickly shattered when Charles gently explained that despite their best efforts, Diana had not survived. This conversation, as reported by the Mirror, was a pivotal moment in Harry's life. The memory of that day is etched deeply in Harry's mind, although he admits that he cannot remember his own response to the news. He believes he might not have said anything at all. What he does remember with striking clarity is that he did not shed a single tear at that moment. The shock and disbelief were so profound that they left him numb and unable to cry. In a touching gesture, Harry's Aunt Sarah, Princess Diana's sister, later gave him a lock of his mother's hair. She had snipped it off when she visited Diana in Paris. This small but significant memento was given to Harry in a little blue box, serving as a tangible connection to his mother. Diana had grown up on the Althorpe estate in Northamptonshire, a place that remains significant to her family. Her younger brother, Earl Charles Spencer, still resides there with his family. The late Princess of Wales is buried on the Althorpe estate, on a small island in the middle of the Oval Lake. Visitors are allowed to explore the 13,000-acre property and grounds at certain times of the year, paying their respects and remembering the beloved princess. However, the estate will not be inherited by William or Harry. Instead, it is set to pass to their cousin, Louis Spencer, the son of Charles Spencer. Louis, Viscount Althorpe, is the heir due to the system of primogeniture, which prioritizes male heirs over females, despite having three older sisters. Louis, who keeps a low profile compared to his sisters, pursued acting after studying at the University of Edinburgh. The royal family historically followed the system of primogeniture, which meant that Princess Anne was overtaken in the line of succession by her younger brothers, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. This system, however, was changed in 2011, allowing the line of succession to be determined solely by birth order, regardless of gender. This significant shift reflects a move towards greater equality within the monarchy, ensuring that the line of succession is fair and just.